in the book, you have at the end, you have a list of supplements. And actually, you have the list of supplements you take, which is amazing. But if you were going to say, like, the top five supplements that one that people should focus on uh, really for healthy aging, what would you kind of put on that list? Well, certainly number one is vitamin D3. Um, vitamin D3 is actually a hormone. It's not a vitamin at all. And as I've written in other books, if you look at, if you like the telomere theory of aging, these little end caps on chromosomes, the bigger your telomeres, the uh, longer you live and live well. Vitamin D levels correlate very well to telomere length. The higher your vitamin D, the higher your telomere length, longer your telomere length. That's number one. We, we also now know that vitamin D is essential to repair leaky gut. And the vast majority of people I see with autoimmune diseases, they have in general low vitamin Ds and we have to push their vitamin Ds up. Uh, work out of the University of California, San Diego suggests that the average should be taking 9,600 international units of vitamin D three a day. That's mm -hmm. uh, about 250 micrograms for, uh, and most people aren't anywhere near that. And sad news, sun exposure will never get your vitamin D up to what it, what it should be. Um, number two is uh, a component of fish oil, which is called DHA. And in my previous books, we know that people who have the largest amounts of DHA and EPA in their blood, as they age, have the biggest brains and the biggest areas of memory, the hippocampus. And people who have the lowest levels have the most shrunken brains, literally, and the smallest areas of memory. Because both DHA and arachidonic acid make up 50% of brain size. And so, wow, get yourself some, get yourself some fish oil. Mom was right that fish was brain food. She didn't know why, but fish is brain food. Mm -hmm. Number three, um, timed release vitamin C. Uh, we are one of the few animals that do not manufacture our own vitamin C. Us uh, monkeys and guinea pigs. And, vi yeah. and vitamin C is actually essential to repair cracks in collagen that occur as our blood vessels flex, flex. And normally we should have a continuous supply of vitamin C. Uh, one of the theories of why humans get heart disease is we do not manufacture vitamin C. But vitamin C is actually a longevity vitamin. Very interesting studies uh, using mice we have, there are five genes that take glucose and turn it into vitamin C. We have all five of those genes in us, but the fifth gene is called a ghost gene. It's not active. So they've taken mice and bred them to have a ghost gene as that fifth gene. And so they can't produce vitamin C, which they normally would. And if you compare them to normal mice, they will only live half as long as the mice that contain all five vitamin C genes. Here's the fun fact. If you put vitamin C in their water and they drink water throughout the day, then the mutant mice will regain the same lifespan as the mice that manufacture vitamin C uh, because they've been drinking vitamin C all day long. So vitamin C is a water-soluble vitamin, and we excrete most vitamin C, and it's pretty much gone from our system in two to four hours. So you have two options. Either you take timed-release vitamin C a couple times a day, or you get yourself some vitamin C tablets, chewable tablets, and you chew a 500 milligram one, oh, four times a day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and before you go to bed. And that's Actually, the evidence is very interesting that that's one of our uh, design flaws. Now, it wasn't a flaw because we used to be exposed to vitamin C-containing plants continuously. And 
interestingly enough, making vitamin C is expensive. And if we're exposed to something, it's silly to waste energy on making something you're always getting. But right. yeah, vitamin C is, is really important in so our diet. While we're on supplements, uh, so you do mention melatonin uh, yes. in the book as, a, as more than just being the sleep hormone. So why is like melatonin so important? Well, we've known for a number of years that uh, shift workers, people who work night shifts and evening shifts, have far greater rates of chronic disease, whether it's diabetes, whether it's cancer. Uh, and we've known that this is partially because of a circadian rhythm problem, that we're supposed to be awake during sunlight and we're supposed to be asleep during darkness. Uh, we now know that there are only two actual antioxidants in mitochondria that have any effect. And one of them is melatonin. The second is glutathione. So we're now learning that melatonin is actually a major mitochondrial repair hormone. And rather than think of melatonin as a sleep hormone, because melatonin comes out at night when you go to sleep, we should be thinking of melatonin as a repair hormone that's produced during sleep because that's when mitochondria should be actually quieting down and going through reparation and repair for functions. And there's some very fascinating evidence that one of the reasons people who are deficient in melatonin or have poor sleep or who are shift workers have much more incidence of cancer is that melatonin is very suppressive of cancer growth. In fact, some fascinating evidence that cancer cells grow during the daylight and stop growing at night. And we think it's because of the presence of melatonin at night. And I, I talk about uh, some of my patients and my dog who I give remarkably high dose melatonin for what was inoperable bladder cancer. And a year and a half later, she's doing great. So, um, yeah. And I also put, put her on some uncouplers. So, yeah, melatonin is also present in food. And for instance, pistachios are the highest containing food of melatonin, huge amounts of melatonin in pistachios. They're also present in mushrooms, they're present in coffee and tea, they're present in wine, they're present in olive oil. And one of the theories that I talk about in the book is that maybe the Mediterranean diet is so good because of all the melatonin containing foods in the Mediterranean diet rather than anything else. Something to think about. 